But first, nearly 100 passengers were rescued in a major operation after a ferry ran aground in Moreton Bay. The skipper was immediately suspended. The stranding was only a week after another grounding stopped barges to a bay island. Most days of the week, it's the trip to work the rest of us can only dream about, but not today. A grounding is classed as a marine incident. It is a reportable incident. That reportable incident happened around 7.30 this morning when the regular Bay Island Transit Service to Redland Bay struck the mudflats off Garden Island. And judging by the tracks from its twin hulls, it was at some speed. A rescue flotilla was on the scene within moments. We had uh, some crabbers turn up with their dinghies, so they got involved. The rubber ducky from the police was there as well. All 98 passengers aboard the two-year-old ferry were evacuated safely, and the vessel's skipper immediately suspended from duty. He has been um, breath tested by the water police, which was at my request. We will be conducting a drug test as well. Bay Island Transit says despite the grounding, regular services will continue to run on time and to timetable. The company says it'll wait until this afternoon's high tide for an attempt to refloat the vessel. I'll also then be able to check for any structural damage. We will then bring the vessel back here and put it onto our slip. We have um, a cradle here. Meanwhile, Maritime Services Queensland has slapped an indefinite suspension on the company which operates the Coochie Mudlow Barge Service after one of its two vessels ran aground last week. Redland Council says it's working to make sure services such as emergency response and garbage removal aren't affected. Tim Collins, 10 News.